Alright guys, for today's video, I'm playing Trimmer in the top lane on the PBE, and crit items are receiving a buff. All the crit mythics have been buffed, they've received an extra 5 AD. Tank items are nerfed, I think they lost like 100 HP each, uh, I didn't really take a look, big look at that. And the power curve of, of Infinity has been rounded out. So that 60% crit chance, uh, you gain 35% bonus crit damage, which still makes an, IE an insane item. However, uh, I guess technically it's a 5% damage nerf in the in the late late game, but I like it. Wait, don't tell me. Wait, actually, don't like. <laughs> okay, here's why I don't like. I can see the amount that I'm healing on my health bar. <laughs> from the potion. Wait, I don't like this at all. <laughs> okay, so the visual thing... Yeah, that's gotta go. I don't like that. I hate it when I see Vladimir's, like, get that on their health bar with their ulti. Uh, whatever. Anyways. Uh, trained decently well into, uh, Volibar early. And also, if you guys notice, I'm actually taking Hell Blades. This is something that I have changed up on my standard build. Um... For the most part, it has really good early game trades, even to something strong like Ball Bear, and it's insane late game against Squishies. So late game, when you have your Navori and 100% crit chance, you're gonna spin in. You're going to spin in and crit twice, and then be able to spin it again. And you since you get the attack speed instantly from Hail Blades, uh, it's actually pretty insane. I actually played it on my stream. All day long, and we're gonna be continuing to play it on stream all day long. Um, you know, from next few streams as well as I continue more testing. So make sure you check me out on twitch.tv slash fog for the win too. Uh, if you want to see all the testing with Hell Blades and see how I'm running it. Also check out my, my VODs on Twitch if you want to check out the full game, full streams. Uh looks like I fall there here. Um I was like waiting for my Ivern to go in. Okay. Yeah, I thought my Ivern was gonna like hop in a little bit early. But that eh, works for me. I still have an extra potion in case I need it. I guess it's kind of cool when you use potions that you can see exactly how much HP you're getting. That was Ball Bear, man. That Ivern came right back top. Alright, push it in. Alright, perfect. And so, these crit buffs, along with like the AD buffs that they gave on Trimmer's Q earlier, um, actually make, I mean, crit I'm just insane in general. So, especially with the nerfs to like Sunfire, I think lost 100 HP. And a couple of the other tank items lost HP too. It's gonna make, you know, tanks less effective, trend and crit more effective. And, um... Also, big nerf to mages, uh, they nerf Seeker's Arm Guard. So, that's actually pretty nice. So, all the items that are, like, kind of countering trend, and Trinder's damage got nerfed, crit's getting buffed, uh, it's looking like good times ahead for Trinder, in my opinion. Good times ahead. So, here's my build that I've been uh, running recently. Uh, let me actually wait for Boots. Boots can actually get me to lane roughly at the same time. I'll wait for I him. Just because I get the extra move speed walking back to the lane, right? But anyways, I've been running a Navori first item into Infinian second item into a third Crit Cloak. And then deciding my Mythic from there. The Navori and the Infiniage are just inherently better. Hey Fog, I'm gold So Kubko, thank for the five dollars. I appreciate it. Against a lot of Yumi's top lane, I think I can take your trend now. All love and let me get in on the next one. Your rival Sakugo. <laughs> thank you for the five dollars, Sakugo. I appreciate your donation, man. I'm glad uh, you're getting those the practice against those Yumi's top, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, pacifist Pickle. Thank for Twitch Prime. 
Yeah, if you guys were looking for a way to support me, uh, you can always use your Twitch Prime on my stream. And uh, it's just like a free sub, which gives me a, basically a free five bucks. Which, if you have Amazon Prime, uh, I mean, you get a, a free sub to your favorite streamer once per month. Just, uh, just turn it up. All will join me. Gotta watch out for uh, Bulber's W. Ooh. I can't some auto. And he actually auto the minion. Yeah, so I took one turret shot there, right? But I got three crits in a row on him, and it just destroyed his health bar. And this is a Evolver that's going to be pretty tanky too, right? Hey, Jack NG42, thank you so much for Twitch Prime. I appreciate you. I don't have Fury right now, so a little bit spooky. He's got his grasp up. I'm going to try to build Fury without taking a trade from him. Right, I buffered his stun with my spin so that I didn't get hit by that. You know, walk out of his W. Alright, now I can look for a big trade. Nice. I was able to avoid his ulti damage to stay right on the outside of it, but still stay in auto range too. Perfect. But you see how this uh, Hail of you know, Blades trading is going? So you don't have to full-on commit for an all-in, which you probably wouldn't be able to against Volbear anyways, because he cuts out with his... Um, his E and his stun, um, and all that, but it allows your short trades to become just freaking brutal, and I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a level 2 kill today, because I, um, I triple auto, spin out, into, like, spin in triple auto, just death. Oh. Wait, what'd you get hit by? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh sh! I actually didn't pay attention to my uh. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to my gold. I should have taken one more, um, like two more minions for Nivori. Rip. Yeah, we get double cloaks here. Um, casting zero zero. The ghost flash. I've never seen a cast him with ghosts. Is that some void boy tech or what? Oh, Ivern had hit him. Ah, uh, okay. Soon all will join me. The real crease. Thanks for a sub for 34 yeah. months. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't have Grievous or anything. I swear my set is busted now, though. The new nickname I have is the Tenacious Titan of Atop. The Tenacious Titan? Ever since oh. you refused to reign me. <laughs> Because I was already a god, it means a lot. Your rival Sekugo. Thank you, um, my rival Sekugo, for the $5 donation. I appreciate it, man. Is this a link to your, your domination, man? Freaking crits with the Hell of Blades, man. That's so good. So, another reason I like Hell of Blades, if you notice, like, I get to take Ravenous Hunter basically every time. So I never have to build any kind of vamp. It's just, like, already built in. And it, and it scales as I get more takedowns, right? So I usually have, like, one or two. Okay. Let me, uh, let me get into Vori. And I'll get... Dagger. Rampage. Oh man, he almost got me. Holy. Right, good thing I haven't pinged that out. That was just a free kill. Okay, our bot lane's roughly even. Has been 
Uh, I don't think I can get that first wet turret, actually. Right. Let me get Navori, and then I'll get a, um... So this is a buy that I've been doing. I've actually been going Navori into double crit cloak, just so I have very high crit chance with the Hail of Blades. So when I spin in uh, with the full fury, uh, I spin in, I hail blades proc, and I can basically instantly get another spin. So spin, crit, crit into another spin is so much damage, right? So it's about, it's going to be about 300 damage um, per spin once my health gets a little bit lower during the trade. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. It, it's so much freaking damage, and especially against a squishy, you just one-shot them. Um, is Hecarim come up top? Walking down. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess the Hecarim died both ways he went. If you went up towards me, I'd just triple crit him. Wow, I didn't get the W slow. Yeah, but you see that? Look how often I'm able to reset my spin, and now I can just all win. So spin, you get that double crit, you spin again, and it's really easy to stick on the targets. Like once you get this set up with Hail of Blades, uh, it's actually crazy. And when we get our Infinity Edge 2, which we're gonna build next item, that's gonna be 35% bonus damage essentially since we're going to be so close to 100% crit. So right now, when we're at full fury, we're at 90% crit. So out of your three autos you're going to get, most likely you're going to get two crits, right? So you can get that second spin just right in a row. Okay. I'm going to look to... Uh... Yeah, let me find a Hecarim. I need more Ravenous Hunter stacks. Oh wait, I canceled my last crit with my um with my W. I was gonna crit and then W. And if I did that correctly, if I didn't accidentally cancel it, I actually would have been able to spin flash after a Hecarim and kill him. But either way, we got his thing. Also, I probably should have led with my spin there. And our spin cooldown so low enough where we can still chase down. Our hell blades is almost back up. Works like a charm. This this setup is actually so ridiculous just because we're uh, really making use of the new season items. Making use of this Navori being able to... Essentially, last season you needed, I think, 40% CDR. Your team has destroyed a to be able to, you know, double crit and then instantly into spin, right? This season, you just need this one item, Navori. And if, as long as you get two crits with Navori, boom, another spin. So, it just really amplifies our damage with this setup. And I've really been enjoying Hellblades. Even into tank matchups, I've played it a couple, couple times against like a Malphite where you think like, oh, the lethal tempo attack speed over time actually be pretty good. If you think about it, like, you can't really all in a tank straight up, right? You just can't. So, you actually need to take short trades into the all in, which Hellblades actually works perfectly for. So, if you're wondering what the difference is between last season and this season, why we're now taking Hail of Blades, it's because of this item of Ori, and it's something I've, like, kind of discovered. And the fact that Ravenous Hunter is now Omnivamp, it just plays into, like, the build very well. Terramani 99 thank you so much for a Twitch part, dude. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm just gonna take red.
Oh no. Am I able to keep on them? The nice thing about Navori too, you see how my mocking shot is being lowered by my crits too? Oh, he just went down. I was hoping he went up so I can actually chase him. Uh, I have 4,000 gold, guys. <laughs> I probably should go buy. Uh, let me buy Infinity Inch. Do this, this, and we'll grab another longsword, which will build into our third item. So, all the crit items got buffed. I personally recommend going either Gale Force to give you that extra dash to help you stick on your target, especially with Hell Blades, making sure they guarantee they reset your spin. Really nice. Plus, it does 500 bonus magic damage, my blade. which is insane. Or you go Kraken Slayer. Both items buff, by the way, because of the changes here on the PB. Or you go Kraken Slayer, and you get uh, probably, I think it's like 160 true damage every third auto, which also synergizes really well with Hell Blades, instantly getting those three autos, right? I actually love it. So, the one bad thing is we're not taking... So, we either have to choose Triumph or Legend Tenacity for our runes, or we have to get Tenacity somewhere in the build, right? I thought I killed Hecarim. I missed the damage by 38. Dab him. Nice. Oh, Thresh died. Oh well. I'm gonna say it's a gold reset. I'm gonna say worth. Look at that. Spin, crit, crit, right into their spin. And since Hail Blades procs instantly compared to lethal, which takes like two seconds to proc, uh, it's lethal. Oh, shit. But, uh, I don't think that uh, Lux likes what I'm doing. Let's see, I'm probably gonna go Gale Force this game. I've been really enjoying playing Gale Force. And actually, you know what? I thank you, Lux. Lux reminded me that I needed an extra 150 gold by my Gale Force. So, you know what? I will take these cards. Thank you very much. Wait, Thresh just got four souls in a row? And he didn't pick him up? No! How often do you see that? That's actually insane luck. Wait, so we gotta go for it. So these are like... I would say this is probably the best three items. You could if you if you really thought that you had to split against a tank. Going into mid-game, I've actually built Kraken Slayer instead of Gale Force against a Malphite. And as soon as I built the Kraken Slayer, I was instantly able to to kill a, um, it was a Frozen Heart, um, Frozen Fist, Tabby's Malphite. I was able to beat him. With Hell Blades, with Kraken Slayer. With those three items. Not only be able to beat him, crush him too. I am your so it's really good. Knight. Hey, Rock Knight, thanks for applying stuff for 14 months. I appreciate it. Um, mm, it worked here. I'll spin over the wall. I'll let Caitlyn live for now. Be a slaughter. Oh. oh, by the way, this doesn't just do 500 damage. This does, um... Like, when you get your full build, it does 500 plus an additional 50% if there are low health targets. So it can be used as an execute, too. Nice try, Lux. Um, what's coming? Yeah, when do you get E Flash, by the way, for this season? Uh, you just start one shotting. Oh. Well, I uh, miscalculated that. I guess I should have used my ignite. I don't have my Gale Force. I took all their focus there, right? That was good. 
I absorbed a lot of their abilities there. If I had Gale Force 2, I actually would have killed the eight one. And see, like, you see how I have a little bit of life still here? It's because of that Omnivamp from the Ravenous Hunter, which works not only on the damage you deal with your auto attacks, but also your spin, uh, your Ignite. It's just like, it heals everything. Omnivamp. Also, with Omnivamp, you can actually heal off of attacking wards, which is pretty nice. Which with life still before, you couldn't. So, that happens that build after this. It really totally depends. Against their team, I think I'm going to build a QSS. Uh, but you can also build into some lethality items. I've built Sanguine Blade. I've built Yomu's. I've built Edge and Knight. Um, you can also go into Heavy Armor Pen. You can build something like a Sorilda's Grudge. Or, like, if you're really feeling hyphy, you can build, like, a Ravenous Hydra. So, like, a Lifesteal item, right? And all those items are very good. All those items are very good. Personally, I've been really enjoying just going full on damage, full on single target damage and going with the lethality. Um, unless I needed a QSS, which then I'd build the QSS first. And this is kind of how the build rounds out. I wonder if I could solo Baron with just the Omni Band. Probably, right? This is limit testing. I actually have no idea. You know, my uh, Navori reduces the cooldown of my Q, right? Okay, I can't do it. Help! I need... I would need actual life still. There's Volley. Okay, so I have my flash up, so I can probably E flash on the Caitlyn, even get just one auto attack on her with Gale Force and she dies. I also do the same thing to Lux. Lux might be a better target, to be honest. And if I had Kraken Slayer, I could just set up a Kraken Slayer with an E flash, right? Gale Force now. But the nice thing about Infinish in this situation, I have 60% crit chance right now, right? So with no Fury, I can still get maximum effectiveness of my Infinish. So this is why I meant by Infinish Gems kind of got rounded out, is I'll always do the 35% bonus damage. It won't ever be like 24% or whatever it was before. Oh man, if I time the Ivern Shield with my E Flash onto the uh to the Caitlyn, instant one shot. Uh think in range. Caitlyn's playing really far back. <laughs> she got eaten. Alright guys, let me know what you think of the crit buffs for Trimmer. I think they're pretty great. Maybe I'm gonna miss that 5% extra damage on Pinny Edge. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, make sure to check out my Twitch page at twitch.tv slash fox12. I'd love to see you here. Anyways, take care, guys, and have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later.